Sean Dolan. Kind of, kind of burns a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, you know, went out there and knew we were double backs. So I knew it was gonna be hard. And I should have just committed a little more with a couple laps to go. Um, kind of got caught behind the, the move a little bit, but you live and you learn. So going into the weekend, which event did you think was gonna be your better chance at the win? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I'm more of a strength guy, so. I think either of the races would have played out in my favor, just based on how we train. But uh, man, I'm always particular to the five. I, I like the five, so. Um, but yeah, definitely a stinger of the weekend. It's all right though. Did you feel like for a moment in that last lap that he was coming back? Yeah, I did. I, I definitely got a sniff of it. I just, I wish I was a little closer before I got to that last lap and maybe could have had a shot at him, but it's all right. You know, second race of the weekend, can't be too upset. But. Did you just not see the move or did you think it was too hard too early? I mean, it was hard early and I just didn't check it right away. I didn't think I had it in me, but we got two laps to go. I definitely felt like I could have made that move and just a little bit of split second where you just kind of should have made the move and didn't, so beating myself up a little bit, it's all right. You've been incredibly consistent throughout your career so far. What, is, what do you chalk that up to? Uh, consistency in my life, like every day, doing the little things, 365 days a year, and trusting coach every day, so just gotta do the little things every day. How carefully has Milt brought you along these last few years? Yeah, very, I mean, coming as a freshman, I'm definitely, I'm young for my grade, so he knew that, and he definitely just logical progression is what we say, so. It's definitely been that. Yeah. Is there any solace in that it has taken like a really high level to be doing these two races? Like the level he goes at right now, is, we haven't seen many in like Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, a, it's a good step forward. I know I can get to where Nico is um, come this outdoor season, so I'm just going to keep plugging away. We'll get there. And do you think you've made a breakthrough this indoor season? This is the closest you've been to winning in Silver. Uh, I wouldn't say so. I think I've just gotten, you know, a breakthrough is just like I've been consistently knocking at the door, fifth, fifth, ninth, and cross. And I've been there, I just haven't had that last little bit. And that's what we're working on this indoor season. It's slowly coming along, so we got a long way to go. But, but do you view it as progress that you yes, like? Yeah. Definitely, yes. It's it's progress. I've really struggled with my last 200 a lot in races, so I've been working on that, practicing that throughout this whole season. How do, you, how do you work on that? Like, what do you do in practice to improve? Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of really strength stuff, and then we'll go and hit, you know, some faster 200s, 600s on the end. After doing a lot of strength stuff, so you get both kind of hits. You get to do the fast stuff while you're tired, which is exactly what this is. So, um, just a lot of practicing that in practice. We're coming out of Virginia, if I had said, you're going to go to, to Boston and March and be second or twice. Like, back then? Like, would, yeah. that, would that have been satisfying? Absolutely, yeah. But then when, you, when you've just lived through it now, it's right. like, damn it, that's not, that's not good enough. Right, you always think that the, the you know, the bright, the light's gonna be brighter on the other side, and a lot of the time it's, it just fuels the fire even more. So, no, it's definitely a good start, and we got a lot more to go this outdoor season. How big of an emphasis will the Olympic trials be in your planning for outdoors? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, the plan is gonna be for everything's building up, even through now, it's building up to the end of June, early July. So, um, just planning the season around that for sure, yeah, absolutely. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.